Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science Study Guide on Earth Science. Remember, you have a study guide and answer key for each video. Print the study guide out, watch the video, fill it out if you can, then you can check your answers, and then you have an easy way to study for tests and quizzes. So let's get started with the video. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's talk about solar and lunar eclipses. When the shadow of one celestial body like the moon or the earth falls on another, an eclipse occurs. A solar eclipse happens when the moon comes between the earth and the sun and the shadow of the moon falls on part of the earth. A lunar eclipse happens when the earth comes between the sun and the moon and the shadow of the earth falls on the moon. Let's talk about a couple ways to help you remember the difference between a solar and lunar eclipse. The order of the celestial bodies during a solar eclipse is the Sun, Moon, and Earth, or SME. Also, please remember that the shadow of the Moon only falls on a small portion of the Earth, and people in this portion can look towards the Sun to see the solar eclipse. Remember, never look directly at the Sun. That's not healthy. Here's the path of the 2017 solar eclipse. Notice how narrow the path is. During a lunar eclipse, the order of the celestial bodies is Sun, Earth, Moon, or SIM. Next, you may be wondering, why don't we see a solar and lunar eclipse every month? The reason is the moon's orbit around the Earth is tilted about 5 degrees relative to the orbit of the Earth around the Sun. This tilt is just enough to place the moon out of the Earth's shadow for, for most full moons and the Earth out of the moon's shadow for most new moons. When the Earth, moon or Earth is blocking the Sun, three types of shadows are created, the umbra, penumbra, and the antumbra. The umbra is the shadow's dark core. The penumbra is the less dark outer part of the shadow surrounding the dark core. And the antumbra is the lighter area of a shadow that appears beyond the umbra. These different types of shadows can cause different types of solar eclipses. There are three main types of solar eclipses, the total, partial, and annular. A total solar eclipse occurs at a, when a small portion of the Earth that the umbra covers. The sun is covered for a brief period of time and it will become dark. A partial solar eclipse occurs when the umbra does not hit the Earth or in the region of the penumbra during a total eclipse. An annular eclipse occurs when the moon is near the furthest po point from the Earth called the apogee and the moon does not block out the sun completely. And here's what it looks like. There are also different types of lunar eclipses. A penumbral lunar eclipse is when the moon passes through the Earth's penumbral shadow. A partial lunar eclipse is when a portion of the moon passes through the Earth's umbral shadow. And here's what this looks like. And then finally, you have a total lunar eclipse where the entire moon passes through the Earth's umbral shadow. If you'd like to know more about eclipses, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.